Bing bada boom. What's up, everybody? Let's go over to um, Dropless Supreme Community. I suppose that's the best way to go. I turn my camera on too. Hold up. Hold up. A. Hey. Too much shit on my desk. Um, there we go. Boom. What's up, guys? Let me know if the music is at a good level or if it's too quiet. But we are live and alive here. And people are not feeling this week at all. I'm kind of the same way, to be quite honest. Yeah. Heard the headphones might be limited. Yeah, dude. They probably are. Um, let's go look. I wonder what about the uh, European drop. Headphones are pretty limited. Hmm, interesting. What do you guys think? Go for the uh, go for the headphones to flip. We might have to because I don't think I'll actually use them. At first, I thought for the meme it'd be kind of funny. I know that's the that's the thing, dude. I don't know either. But I don't know. Last season, I passed on a lot of of things like this that ended up being decently valuable. Let's go on Reddit and see if there's any kind of values or current opinions on the headphones. Like for the European drop, that probably already happened. Okay, drop date thread. Porta pros. Okay, so people are definitely going for Porta Pros. If you're going for anything, I would say probably the headphones, if anything. They are just a funny item, I agree with that. Dang, are the sound sticks really three times resell? I know Deborah's got the, the sound sticks. Supreme. Harmon Cardon. Wow, that's crazy. Those went nuts. Look at that, guys. 900 bucks. Jeez, some people sold them for a thousand on September 2nd. Crazy. You got yourself a nice item there, Deborah. That's awesome. I actually recently picked up the Shrek Crocs, guys. Won these from a raffle. I will be doing a review of them, which is always kind of silly. The new croc trend is just absurd. I am not really into it, but I think these are just hysterical. Had to go for them. But yeah, this week, not a ton. These are all right. The pin, uh, the pin up mesh, mesh back, the trucker hats. I kind of like these. I think these are a pretty fun design. They're a very simple hat. Could kind of be a sleeper item. I could definitely see these rising in value over time. But I have no idea if they will resell in the short term. Because that's the difference. It's the short term speculation or the long term. More investing, it's still speculation because there's no guarantee that any of this stuff will be worth anything, right? They could keep making a hundred of them like we saw I know I was trying to gas up the Hebrew jersey. I still think the Hebrew jersey is super, super sick. But throughout last week, if you guys are on Soul Retriever or even just checking out the site, you can see these are still restocking a bunch of times, which is crazy. I didn't think that would happen. You know, it's like some items they'll make super limited at first and then restock. I, I really can't tell what will restock and what won't because nowadays i feel like it's just kind of random 
you know of course we're never gonna get restocks on like the dunks but or these kind of hats but just certain items will will or won't uh lego my ego i can't tell you that for certain i think probably in the short term they might sell for like a hundred bucks but it really just depends like who is buying these to use them and who is buying these because they're limited and they want to resell them that's the thing you know like i look at it like this these are definitely a cool novelty item and they could end up being something coveted you think they'll have a 60 dollars resell nice honey did you go for the the highs for 265 or the lows You got the lows or the highs? Yeah. Nice, dude. I mean, if you're happy with that, that's awesome. It's all about paying for what you're comfortable paying. And I think the lows will, they've probably kind of leveled out right here, but I still think people could probably get them for, for less. Dude, ever, it's so funny. I was gassing up the highs like really early on. I was like saying how much I liked them and I kind of, I kind of bit the bullet of going for the low because I didn't have any dunk lows at the time. I don't have any dunk lows right now. After I sold my mosquitoes, I, I don't have any. I only have the high or I only have a pair of panda dunk highs, which I don't like because I think regular Nike dunks are super uncomfortable. I do not like regular non SB dunks. I just don't. Really, SBs are the only thing I want to wear because of the padding and the extra tongue. But yeah, these are super sick. I would really like to get a pair for, I probably would want them for like 220 or something. So if they go down that low, maybe someday, but I don't really need them right now anytime soon. So keep it at that. Um, five more minutes. Yeah, still debating about headphones. I, I might just pass to be honest, guys. I really, I really don't know. They are cool. Oh yeah, for sure. You definitely need highs in Canada. That's for damn sure. What else? Yeah, the collab, I think everyone's kind of on the same page. It's not really that great. Even after we did watch the video yesterday on the channel. And uh, I used the sniper wolf thumbnail. I saw some people in the comments were like, dude, why did you put that in your thumbnail? I was just fucking around trying to be silly with the goofy thumbnail because of the react reacting to right so if you guys haven't seen my reaction video go check it out some good react content right here if I can pull up the link there we go boom keep that wondering how the jeans will do with the studs I don't know, man. I can never be that accurate on predicting resale on on denim and different kinds of uh, different kinds of things like this because this is not something that I've ever really been into. So I can't be a good uh, estimator at at that. But yeah, I don't really like the collab either. It's cool. Like I appreciated the guy's story, kind of. I didn't really fully know what he was talking about the whole time <laughs> in the video. But yeah, it's just not that great. The plaid. I had some guy talking about some other company that releases these super expensive plaid flannels. Engineered garments, I think he said it was. Because I was saying that the Supreme flannels were really expensive. And this guy was trying to sell me, sell me on engineered garments. And these flannels yeah i feel that devin yeah honestly this week it's a slowdown week like maybe go for the headphones if you want this guy's real this guy in my comments that was really hyping up this this brand right here the work shirt yeah i don't know i'm just not a big flannel flannel guy i guess 
but we're definitely going to check out the website. We're going to look at the drop. We're going to see what sells out first. Can I do a poll? I don't know. Yeah, we can do a poll. We'll... We're going to do what will sell out first. Um, Honey Bebo, watch my video. I talk about it. Or there's also a video on Supreme's YouTube channel that talks about who Mark Leckie is. Um, let's see. What will sell out first? We're going to do headphones. Um, maybe pinup. What else? Yeah, they will go. They'll probably go. You guys are right. You guys are right. There's the pull. Boom. Ooh, collegiate hoodies. I didn't even put that on the list. I didn't even put hoodies on the list. They could. They definitely could. And I honestly just kind of need a pass week. If you guys know what I'm talking about. I could regret it. Oh well. We're just going to take a nice backseat view. So good luck if you guys are going for anything. Screw pin could sell out. Yep. That's very true. Screw pins are dope. We got one more minute. Yep. I'm taking a nap too. Even if the headphones sell out, that's great. I got items to sell. Here we go. Boom, one more click. And there it is. There's the drop. It's live, folks. Supreme headphones. Boom. Over ear custom logos. Internal copper voice coils. Deep bass and signal clarity. Collapsible headband with adjustable temporal zones. Now the question is, which color will be most coveted? Will it be the gray or the white? I feel like white will get more dirty. I think gray is definitely a cleaner look if you're going for the headphones. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's tough because like, yeah, I agree. It's like it's not wireless. So for everybody that has an iPhone, you're going to have to use the dongle. It's kind of inconvenient. Uh, BOGOs usually come out in December, Mr. know -all, So not for a few weeks, like week nine or ten, maybe. I don't exactly know when that will be, but not for a little bit. We also have the overcoat. I don't know if this will sell out. Certain people can dig this. I think this one is sick. I mean, 798 bucks. What did we say on the drop list? That was going to be 400. Yeah, that's a uh, so that was a lie. Nice. You got the headphones, Honey Bebo. Sick. Let's look at the other items. Screw pin right there. Got the skateboards. The fridge. It's such a weird collab. Like, what is this even from? I know it's obviously from his art. Just so weird. Your mom said the overcoat would fit you. Yeah. Nice, Deborah. That's awesome. Of course, you got them both. <laughs> I'll have to check out your Instagram whenever you whenever you post them. That's cool. Um, bird up. I feel like their embroidery tee should be around 55, 60. Yeah, I definitely wish that was was the case. This one is 60. Like you talking about these ones right here? This type of embroidery. Because if you look at these, like all cotton, anytime you see the all cotton jersey, it's always a heavier shirt. So it's like thicker than the real. The pants are going fast. Hey, no one put jeans in the pole. I'm telling you, there's a there's a big jean fandom. Certainly not these jeans though, right? With the lenticular, lenticular design. Wow. Yeah, dude. I remember when Supreme used to, well, online shopping used to not have sales tax. That was such a good era of being able to just buy things without sales tax. Oh, I miss that era. 
let's see headphones are still they still look to be available so they're not going super fast that's not saying they won't sell out what else do we got here jeans are going fast Ooh, what, what was that a sell out that was probably an older item right yeah that was these guys the sweaters go back to new everything still looks available we can peep the jeans yeah these jeans will go first these needle punch wash blue 188 let's look at the flannel I'll take a look at the flannel I mean the flannels not bad this one's gone in XXL same with this yellow one I really liked the undercover jean flannel combo from last year last season the kind of wraparound waist that was a really good collab I don't know guys one of the things I also want to do with the channel is hopefully like once we get like some additional money flowing in the channel like first things first I want to get new mic new webcam we get that covered I want to start hunting down grails like going on eBay and finding really cool older pieces hopefully for not too much and then review them on the channel talk about them I think that will be really really fun and kind of like what supreme drops does on his twitter page i think some really cool content could be centered around like long discussion videos about like different collabs of the past like things like this like write-ups on various collections kind of talking about the history of these supreme designs I think that stuff is super cool like this pin thread was just so nice and I would like to do some higher effort uh, videos like that so we'll probably get that done on the channel here we go there's the black or the gray headphones sold out I am personally not going for palace tomorrow either I do like the collab but I might I might, um, I might do like an offline live viewing of the palace drop just to discuss it and look at the pieces and see what sells out. I'm not 100% certain though. Yeah, the palace and Sakai collab is definitely sick. Or the, you mean the palace Carhartt or the Sakai Carhartt? Still waiting on the hell windbreaker. I can't wait for it. I hope it drops soon. Yeah, dude. The Hell Windbreaker is super, super dope. I love that piece as well. People are sleeping on the gray or the pinup. Nice. Yeah. Curious to see what those will sell for. I'll probably do that on the next week's uh, What Sold Out video during for week four. And we can discuss, we can discuss basically everything that sold out which will probably be a few items. Screw pin still available. So currently it's just the gray. Is it just the gray headphones that are gone? I think so. Jeans will, oh, jeans are gone too. Yep. Nice. We can take a quick look at the palace collab and then maybe check in with Supreme here in a little bit. But here's the palace collab. I think it's pretty nice. I talked about it in my Supreme or no, this week in streetwear video because I didn't feel like this could have dedicated its own video, but I just kind of wanted to format or create a new format where I talk about basically everything coming out this week. Yeah, I think the beanies are nice too. This camo one is really nice. I actually don't mind that the collab is super simple. I think it's, it's pretty, it's pretty nice and kind of reminds me more of like what Carhartt kind of is, right? Which is workwear. It's simple. It's not super loud. Like I think all this stuff is, is pretty wearable to be honest. I think the overalls, these could go pretty quick too. High key. The bib overalls. Yeah. I could see these going too. 
Already voted for them. Okay. Pocket tees as well. They're pretty clean. Pretty damn clean. But yes, Palace, Palace and Carhartt comes out tomorrow at the same time, right? I think they do. I think it comes out at 11 as well, 11 a.m. Eastern. Yeah, I'm into it for sure. I just need to watch buying too many clothes just to wear because I am very prone to doing that. I'm curious on the retail prices. I don't know if this is Supreme Drops Palace account. Oh, this is fun. I really wanted to do this picture too. This type of picture. Damn, I could have used that for my thumbnail for this. That would have been great. Maybe I'll do uh, maybe I'll use this picture for my what sold out video. I love that. I was trying to do that in Photoshop today, but I was just I couldn't figure out the best way to stretch that. But I guess I could have just deleted that part of the headphone and just yeah, use that picture. We don't have Palace retail prices though. I'm sure there's probably a Palace page that will have that will have prices. Right? Do these have price? This website doesn't have prices though. Does anybody know where the palace prices are posted before? Okay, ending the poll. Headphones did sell out first. 26 votes. Hell yeah, guys. Way to uh way to get involved in the poll. Thank you for voting. It's your American right. Or Canadian right, or whatever, wherever you're from. <laughs> okay, let's let's take a look back at Supreme. I got off in the weeds right there on the palace drop. Anything else from new? Okay. Collegiate hoodies. People are not really feeling these at all. Maybe these could go on the sale. I don't know. Maybe they'll sell out later in the week. Who is to say? I think we are seeing that trend though kind of prevail of just more items than usual sitting on the site i know past few weeks we've had some super hype drops that have sold out really fast but we might be back to just you know a couple items just sitting hanging out let's see both jeans are sold out of the needle point needle punch excuse me classic five pocket style we can also look at Supreme Drops. They're, they always post store pictures of the items. I always think that's kind of nice too. Looking at what the items actually look like in store. There's the box you will get. Limited lifetime warranty. So that's dope. You do get a lifetime warranty. But yeah. The banner tee just says Supreme, Zane. Believe it or not, it's Old English and it's all in caps. So it's pretty hard to read, but it says, I believe it says Supreme, right? Supreme NYC. I think that's a Y. I don't know. It's something DC, BC, NDC. Oh no, Sereno Joe. What did you want to get, man? Did you want to get the headphones? Yeah, you gotta be, gotta be ready, gotta be ready for the Supreme Drop. Yeah, there's still white headphones. No, the white headphones are gone. These might even restock. I could potentially see that restock. AOC, Supreme AOC collab. Ugh. That'd be funny. Ugh. I did not stretch this morning. Ooh. Headphones will be available soon with restock. Yeah, I could definitely see that happen. And if you guys don't know, Soul Retriever, I talk about it in my videos. It's a great app. It is a paid service for the actual mobile app to get the live restocks, but it's super helpful for me 
you can go on their website as well to get all the raffles yeah yeah pinup trucker i think some people are just maybe because the week isn't quote unquote super hype people are just choosing to pass really mr know-it-all that's interesting he's saying the patchwork jacket flew in uk so you're talking about this one right here the the harrington jacket yeah dude if you're in japan i mean phew, it makes sense to to just to just wait for the local whatever local release you have gotcha i mean it makes sense mark lecky is a british guy he's a british bruv so that makes sense that it would sell out in the uk probably because he's more known maybe i have no clue you can go read about the collab if you haven't i talked about it a little bit in my video in a couple videos but there's just a lot there how long did it take for the cost to sell out i don't know i think that the gray ones what did they sell out guys five minutes it wasn't super quick it wasn't botted yeah the headphones are gone we will definitely check out let's look at ebay are people already listing them supreme cost Porta pro headphones 120 130 this guy's putting them at oh these are just regular cost headphones confirmed order new yeah it's a cool collab i like the supreme electronics look at this one limited edition rhythm i'm waiting on the supreme gaming headset like bape did a sick bape headset i think bape did a razor headset yeah they've done that a few times the bape razor headset this is what you need right here guys you need the gamer bathing ape collab i think these are so much cooler so much more usable I thought the Bait Razor collab was actually pretty sick. I think I did a video on it. It was when I was starting off. Starting to do more of these videos. I should cover Bape more. I really like Bape. They have really cool collabs. And the colors too on this one are much better. Yeah. White are back. Okay. Honey Bebo says white headphones are back. If you guys need them, go get them now. Get them while they're hot. They're flying off the shelves. These ones are still available too. Add to cart. We're going to get them, guys. We're not actually going to go for them, but it might just be glitched too. They're saying sold out right here. FTP drop. I haven't even checked out the FTP drop. Let's, let, let's take a look now. FTP. Where's their drop lists? FTP drop list. Do they have a good how do i look at their drop list is there a community website for them ftp community maybe i would definitely love to look at them but i have no clue what website they are listed at and yeah no idea what designer collab will i think happen um well there is still the rumors of a supreme louis vuitton part two let's see if i can find that but i have no clue there was tons of rumors that like virgil abloh like helped create a supreme louis vuitton part two collab when he was still alive obviously so these are information right here this is from supreme drops again it's just a rumor from last year so we have no idea this was talking about this was posted back july 17th 2022 so maybe we will get that this year maybe not right we did see the burberry collab which really helped kind of reignite this channel because i love burberry 
I have the Burberry skate deck right there on my wall. Uh, can you see that? There it is. Supreme Burberry. Um, but I really have no idea. We really only know when stuff gets leaked, when there's rumors, stuff like that. But I really don't know. I can't guess what we would see. I mean, we'll definitely get some of the classics, North Face. Um, I do not skate, Daniel. I am very bad at skateboarding. I sometimes will longboard, but when it comes to skate style, I'm more of a two-legged rollerblader guy. I used to play hockey and I ski when I'm doing winter sports, so I do not skateboard. But yeah, I would love to see some really cool collabs. Like some things I would like to see though, man, I would like to see, I mean like Supreme Adidas would be really, really cool, but with their partnership with Nike, I don't think it would ever happen. I would like to see maybe, hmm, we can look at the VF Corp companies because anything that's involved in VF Corp, Supreme will likely do collabs with because they're owned by the same parent company. So maybe, ah, man. I mean, we'll see Timberland, Dickies. Those are things we already see. Backpacks, Jan Sports. Yeah, not done before. I don't know, man. I'm kind of coming to a blank right now. I mean, more like camping stuff. There's a really cool company called Snow Peak that does... I actually really like this brand. It's Japanese designed camping gear and they have really cool stuff. It's it's really expensive. So that's kind of up Supreme's alley, but they do really cool titanium based little accessories, hammers. They have like uh, chopsticks. So a brand like this would be really cool. Yeah, Snow Peak is really sick. I've never uh, gotten into any of their clothes, but maybe secondhand, I'd be into it. I think another Nike ACG collab would be dope. Um, let me look at what all have Supreme collabed with in the past, Supreme collabs. Cause I just kind of like need to look at different brands. So we got Louis Vuitton, we've had them, Nike, North Face, Comme des Garcons. Damien Hurst. Yeah, like an artist. Another artist would be really neat. Uh, maybe another Takeshi uh, Murakami collab would be cool. Like we got the one thing. We got the the Murakami box logo. I think another Cause collab would be dope. But I can't really think of what new brands. I mean, Supreme Hot Wheels. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Um, even even the, our Supreme Formula One would be sick. Like, there's a really cool collab from Anti Social Social Club and Undefeated they did with Formula One, and they did a huge collab like this. So, I think an F1 collab would be super dope. But, Supreme, I don't know if they would ever do that. Supreme NASCAR would be sick. But, I think with stuff like this, they more like, they're more likely to do like inspired collabs, right? Like they're more likely to do a fake collaboration, like NASCAR racing inspired. I don't think they would actually do it with a brand like a racing league, like NASCAR or Formula One. But that's a cool video idea. I would definitely need more time to think about that, about what, what I would like to see from Supreme. What would you guys like to see Supreme or Supreme collaborate with? Uh, do I like North Face Purple Label? I don't even know what that is, to be honest. Let's see. What is North Face Purple Label? I'm sure it's like expensive North Face. Oh, here we go. Is this what this is? Well, this is a brand that's owned by VF Corp. We were just looking at it. Is this what that is? The Nanamika? 
I mean, it's definitely sick. Supreme Sakai, that could be interesting. Have they done a Sakai collab? A Supreme Sakai collab would be really dope. Yeah, ACG would be sick too. I think the last one was super slept on, in all honesty. I would love to see some some more like shoes like this, like some Supreme ACG shoes. That would be dope. Maybe a Supreme like mechanical keyboard. That would be really interesting. Like a nice mechanical keyboard company. Collaborating with Supreme, that could be really sick. Like a gaming keyboard. I think Supreme could do a really clean one of these. But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Okay, gotcha. Jap Japan exclusive North Face stuff, nice. Well, I'm probably gonna end it here in a second, guys. If you have any further questions or want me to want to ask me a question, definitely hit me up in the comments or in the chat. Supreme Minecraft would be incredible. Ooh, a Supreme Gaming collab. That would be sick. Oh uh, yes, another what's an Avia collab would be super sick. Agreed. Any Japanese streetwear brand I think that Supreme collabs with would be fucking ill. I think a Supreme like Studio Ghibli collab could be really sick too. Like I love the Supreme Akira collab. I, that's my literally favorite collaboration ever from Supreme. So anything like that, like old golden age anime stuff would be sick. I actually recently bought the sticker pack on um, on Instagram. I got, I think it's these three stickers. I got these three stickers for like $23. Pretty good price. Supreme, yeah, Eva would be dope. Evangelion would be sick. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things. Um, a Supreme Ferrari collaboration. We've seen Supreme do it with Lamborghini. Like Ferrari, if you guys don't know, Ferrari makes like streetwear. I would love to talk about it too. I've never done it, but I think a Ferrari, let's see, Ferrari clothing. They actually make some pretty funny stuff. Not funny, but it's like, it's pretty cool. It's really expensive, of course. And all this stuff gets marked down like hella because it never sells out because like, who the hell buys this stuff? But a Supreme Ferrari collab would be so sick. Or any like luxury car brand would be dope. But in terms of like designer brands, you never know. Dior, Tom Ford, I don't know. I thought the photo tees would be crazy. Supreme Arcteryx would be sick. Or Arcteryx. What are you talking about, Royce, when it comes to photo tees? Do you mean like the photo tees from this year? Like the young boy tees? <laughs> but yeah, we'll take one last look at the Supreme site and then probably Supreme today. Well, they only release photo tees once per, well, I guess they don't release them once. They do, they do kind of photo tees with like, you know, the artist, but technically the photo tee refers to a person wearing a white BOGO. Yeah. Well, I mean, photo tees technically are only released once per season. You know, like this isn't really a photo tee, even though it's a photograph Typically, when people say photo tee or portrait tee, they're referring to whenever people wear an actual, like, I'll search it right here, Supreme photo tee. It's referring to these type of, of t-shirts where they're wearing a white box logo. Yeah, Supreme Odd Future will sadly never happen. 
If it was gonna happen, it would have already happened back in 2011, 2013, sometime in that time frame. And Odd Future is defunct, right? I don't think they're still around. Are they still? I don't think Odd Future is still doing stuff together, right? Are they still making music? I guess they're still a brand. You can still buy Odd Future stuff. But I don't think they still make. Yeah, they haven't made anything since. Yeah, hiatus. So. Um, for sure. Gotcha. Yeah, dude, I used to be really into Odd Future. Like, Odd Future helped me get into Supreme. I feel like a lot of people around my age that were into Tyler the Creator when he was coming out, it was really influential for sure. Like the the She video where he's talking about the gold ninja stars and red supreme nunchucks. That was uh that was hype. Then I was like, what the hell are supreme nunchucks? And that's like, oh, that's fucking sick. I'm not gonna watch the Tyler the Creator video right now, but okay, one last time. I said I was gonna look at Supreme one last time. Could a photo tee work with Kanye West? I think that would go absolutely crazy. I don't think Supreme would ever do that though. I just don't think they would. I just don't think they would do that. It doesn't seem like something Supreme would do, but if they did it, I mean, that'd be sick. I feel like if Kanye West was to do something with Supreme, it would have been in like 2008 or like 2009. It's not even that it's controversial. It's like Kanye is too mainstream. Like, if you look at Supreme's collabs, like, yeah, NBA Youngboy. Yeah. Yeah, agreed, Royce. It's like, I don't know. Especially with VF Corp being at the head. You know, I just, I don't know, man. I don't know if they're going to be doing stuff like that. You never really know. But uh, we've pretty much covered it all here today, guys. Yeah. Yeah, they got Youngboy at the right time, for sure. But that's, uh, that's pretty much going to do it yeah yeah maybe they maybe they maybe they contacted kanye in the past and his ego got in the way i think it would have been super sick but you know kanye will always do what kanye wants to do yep appreciate you guys all checking out the stream always like talking with y'all regardless if we're copying stuff or not stay tuned again obviously next week we'll be doing week four or week five information might do some talking about future collab videos in the future. I'd love to do that. A lot of good ideas here. Palace tomorrow. So if you guys want to cop Palace and what is it? Carhartt. That is dropping tomorrow. Same time, 11 a.m. Eastern. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Have a good weekend. Stay safe and peace out.